This is the wireless motion kit right here. Um, what you see right here is a monitor module that keeps an eye on the three drop modules right here. Uh, the cornerstone of each one of these devices is an Arduino Micro. What you see right here is a well-worn example taken from a previous project. The Arduino Micros are paired with NRF24 L01 2.4 gigahertz radio modules. And that's how the drop modules will stay in contact with the monitor module. The monitor module has an OLED screen. The drop modules each feature a PIR sensor to detect motion. They also detect a tilt sensor. They have an on-off switch. And they have a single LED. To use the drop module, place it on a level surface, face the PIR sensor, uh, toward the area you, you potentially want to detect motion. Turn it on by pressing the button once. You'll see the LED is starting to blink. It's going to blink slowly for approximately 50 seconds, and then it's going to blink quickly for approximately five seconds. That 55 second period is reserved for initializing the PIR sensor. The PIR sensor needs some time after it's turned on to acclimate itself to its environment. Otherwise, it's going to spend spurious signals back to the monitor module. During the initialization period, no signals will be sent from any drop module to the monitor module. The monitor module receives no signals during the initialization period. Turn on the monitor module. And now we can see that drop module 2 is active. We can also see the status of its battery. Should something move in front of the module, that will be reported as motion, as you can see right here on the OLED screen. If a drop module is knocked over, we're going to see that reported as a tilt message. Should we move out of range of the drop module, or if the drop module is deactivated in some way, maybe an intruder stepped on it, that will be reported on the screen as a no signal it will replace the battery status with a no signal message. The monitor module is capable of keeping an eye on all of the drop modules simultaneously. What is experienced by one module will not be experienced by any of the other modules. For instance, should drop module one detect motion, that will be displayed in its own specific area of the screen. If module two is knocked over, that will be displayed in its own area of the screen. Incidentally, knocking a module over will probably also trigger the motion sensor as well. And one module will lose a signal. Each one of these separate actions will be reported in its own section of the screen.